If you're perpetually online, you already know what day it is. It's Black Friday. Open any shopping website and they have the same words screaming out in different colors. Sale, sale and more sale. Black Friday is marked every year on the fourth Friday of November. That's the day after Thanksgiving. There are frantic shoppers, crowded stores, millions of online orders and the satisfaction of getting a good deal. That's what Black Friday is about or used to be about. But how did it come about? How did it become so popular? And most importantly, is it still an unmatched deal? Let's look at the history first. The origin of the term itself is surprising. It was coined in 1869. Not for holiday shopping, but for financial chaos. That year, 1869, two Wall Street speculators caused a gold market crash. So the US economy slumped. The day was dubbed Black Friday. Its association with shopping came much later. In the 1950s, in the U.S., it was the day after Thanksgiving. Thousands crowded the stores. They waited in endless lines on the streets. There were traffic jams. There were shoplifting. The day turned into a nightmare. The local police nicknamed it Black Friday. Then businesses tried to rebrand it as Big Friday, but the original term stuck. So in the 1980s, retailers finally saw an opportunity to transform Black Friday's chaotic image. They wanted to paint it as a day of profit. So they spun a new story. Listen to this. They said this was the day of profits, of financial turnaround for your business. So if it's in the red, if it's making losses, it will move to being in the black, hence Black Friday. It was complete hogwash, but it worked. It resonated with consumers and thus began a mighty retail apocalypse. For years, people camped outside stores, elbowing each other in crowded aisles. Who cared about dignity when the washing machine was 50% cheaper? As the world moved online, so did the deals. Sales came on the 14-inch screen, and customers could not hit checkout faster. Humanity may not need another air fryer, but how can you resist if it's 40% cheaper? Who would miss a deal that's too good to be true? Well, not to play the shopping Grinch here, but that may not be the case anymore. If you look at any other time of the year, 98%, 98% of these products can be found at the same price. If you check six months before, it could even be cheaper. Because, and you already know it, 30% of Black Friday deals are artificially inflated. Prices are jacked up to make discounts appear bigger. And the worst hit items are the tech accessories. Take headphones, for example. Prices are hiked by 21% before Black Friday. Same for watches. There's a 15% rise in prices. As for laptops, there is a 16% markup. So if you think you're getting a good deal, well, think again. And all of this raises just one question. Is Black Friday even worth the hype anymore? The rise of technology has changed our shopping habits. Earlier, we used to shop a few times a year. Now people do it all the time, monthly, even weekly. The rise of fast fashion fueled this trend, and retailers were only happy to join in. In the past, Black Friday was about one day. Now it's a month-long phenomenon. Retailers extend their sales to avoid in-store chaos. So the event has lost its exclusivity. Also, we have sales throughout the year. For every festival, every event, there's always a sale which makes Black Friday just another sale. Critics say this is leading to overconsumption and waste. And this conversation of overconsumption has spawned a whole new trend, like a buy nothing day, a day to reject consumerism altogether. We say you can take your pick or go completely old school and say that it's just another Friday with the promise of a weekend. No spectacular discounts, no buyer's remorse in the world of instant gratification and endless deals. That too sounds like a steal.